When I think about Britain, I think about the wind pushing you onwards, dreaming you into the things you love, the streets of the city and the pounding horses wilder somewhere, your shoes filled with the voices of a generation, one foot in front of the other. The shepherds are out there working in contagious directions, the wind hitting the sea and the blank chalk stone above it, out to the beautiful wind turbines that say, paradise is closer than you think. The seagulls remain the gatekeepers, protecting its nameless wonder. There is brilliance in the cul-de-sacs, magical music on the night buses. We track sacred footsteps between the standing stones and the lamp posts in the shopping centres. We light fires for the solstice and hold our lighters up for the encores at Glastonbury. When I think about Britain, I think about the wind pushing us forward, decolonizing our minds, changing the statues, painting the statues of rainbows of hope and the days of summer strung together like love souvenirs, burning through the everyday stars, rewriting history one day at a time. I hear you could take the boy out of Britain, but you can't take the Britain out of the boy. Shop shutters and market stalls, a symphony of noise. Learning how to hustle is how I found my voices. Tall sugars in my tea and a packet of McCoys, you know, the little things that seem to paint the biggest picture. The greatest thing in Britain is the people. That's the difference. Cracks inside the pavement while the world continues spinning. Here's a smile unto my neighbor in this crazy world we live in. The subtle sounds of lovers rock in parts of Notting Hill. A carnival of culture and a spirit you can feel. The nicer in the north, even the birds chirp good morning and a heart full of kindness is the only real importance. You know, the little things that seem to paint the biggest picture. The greatest thing in Britain is the weather. Okay, I kid, but even on rainy days, there's still reason to laugh. If it pours, here's a brolly. If it's cold, take a scarf. If it's hard, take a break. Have a bevy in the park and the greatest thing in Britain will never be too far. If you're happy with what you've got and know exactly where you are, no matter where you end up, you'll be right back at the start. Because you could take the boy out of Britain, but you can't take the Britain out of his heart.